Hi and welcome back to Disrupting Asia. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new to Disrupting Asia, first off, a very warm welcome. Our mission is to connect entrepreneurs, creators and innovators from all over Asia through our media and events platform. Every week we will publish interviews as well as tips and tricks on how to improve your business. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. You're on every major platform like iTunes, Stitcher and Spotify. Now in this week's episode, we talk about getting feedback for your product. As most of you probably come up with lots of great ideas. However, in most cases, we don't know whether they would actually work or not. A great idea is also just an idea without validation. While your idea may seem great at first glance and you're probably super excited, you also have to do the dirty part, which is getting feedback for this very idea to see if there's actually demand for it. And no, it's not just enough to find a niche in the market. The key here is to figure whether there is actually a market for this niche. So before you jump in, spending countless hours on creating your product, first make sure that there is actually enough demand for it and see whether people are actually willing to pay for it. Keep the cost low, create a prototype and that's about it. Let's talk about 23 ways that allow you to validate and get feedback for your idea. We divided those parts in different categories. Also. You will find the transcript of this episode on our blog at www.disrupting.asia. Alright, number one, go outside and approach people directly. Here's how you can do it even by today. 1. Visit a co-working space in your area for a couple of hours and talk with a few people there over a coffee. Attend free events and trainings and share your idea with the attendees. Number 2. Check Facebook events for relevant meetups in your area. Are there any social or networking events, ideally events related to startups, entrepreneurs or your industry? Those events are also a great opportunity for general networking. Number 3. Meetups. Head over to meetup.com and create a profile there. Check whether there are any relevant events in your city and area. Make sure you attend them, network with the right people and present your idea to the right audience. 4. Find the densest concentration of your potential customers. Whatever you're planning to offer, where are your potential customers working or living? Go to this very area, hand out samples or promotions, connect with people and share your product or service idea. Number 2. Sell your product before it exists. Number 5. Ads. You have probably seen lots of books on Amazon that are often available for pre-order. In a similar way, create ads on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Google with your products that link to a sales page on your website. Obviously, you have to be clear about the shipping, therefore state clearly a shipping date or time frame. But this way you can even generate income that helps you to launch a product even faster. Number 6. Pre-sell the product on your blog or website. Similar to the aforementioned point, this one works well if you have a website or blog with an engaged audience on social media, but ideally an email list where you can pre-sell your product. Get feedbacks at scale for your product or service. The next points allow you to quickly gain traction and feedback for your product or service at a large scale. Point number 7. Facebook groups. If you join Facebook groups that are relevant to your audience and product, you can get lots of feedback by simply creating a short post that explains your idea or product. You will see instant feedback within a matter of hours. Make sure though that you read the group rules of the group before. Also, don't link to the product as linking to a product or websites is mostly not permitted by the group moderators. When in doubt, simply send a message to the group moderator before you post it. Number 8. Create a survey. If you run a Facebook group or a Facebook fan page or simply a large following on Facebook, you can create a poll that gives you feedback. If you have an email list, go to a website like SurveyMonkey and create a survey for free that you can send to your subscribers. You can even use Google Forms to create a survey. In any case, keep your survey short with 3 to 5 questions max. Also, have a blank response section where people can put their opinion. Once you receive the feedbacks, you can spend more time on replying to them. Number 9. Use Reddit. Go over to reddit.com and see whether there is an actual subreddit section. Get in touch with people there and post about your products, ideas and questions. Number 10. Forums. Depending on your product, idea or service, you may have even dedicated online forums. 
Again, get in touch with the people there, post about your idea and product and wait for the responses. Leverage your social networks. We often forget about our own surroundings, although this is often the first point to get some valuable feedback for our product. Number 11. If you live in an apartment, you can post your idea, product or service directly on the message board. Some apartments have even a digital message board on their website. Make use of them too. If you ask anybody to give you feedback for your product, make sure to compensate your neighbors with a free coffee, for example. Number 12. Share your idea with your family, perhaps even your extended family. But a warning here beforehand. Be prepared to hear things like, ah, that won't work, or I don't understand, and be ready to get rejections. Number 13. Ask your 10 closest friends for feedback. Invite them for a coffee, which is of course on you. Present your idea and ask for feedback. Don't prepare long presentations, keep it short and straightforward. Number 14. Use Facebook search. Use the Facebook search function to find people in the respective city and area you're looking for. Once you reach out, keep it polite, short and offer something in return for their time. Next section. Crowdfund your idea. With numerous great crowdfunding sites for various causes and industries, it's a great way to validate your product and receive pre-sales that will help you launch and shipping your product even faster. Number 15. Kickstarter. One of the most popular sites out there for new products and innovations is definitely Kickstarter. Make sure to study a few listed successful products in order to create a fantastic campaign. 16. Indiegogo. Indiegogo is similar to Kickstarter, but allows you to keep the raised money even if you won't hit your target. They also have their own marketplace where you can list your product after your crowdfunding campaign. Next section is about paying attention and to observe. Do you know where your target customers spend most of their time, both physically and online? Maybe they don't use Facebook often, but Pinterest instead. Maybe they prefer Snapchat over Instagram. Where would you be able to connect with them and offer your product? Number 17. Social media channels. Though we mentioned social media already earlier, but it's important that you condense your social networks to a two, maximum three. Don't create an account on every social media channel hoping to connect everywhere with potential customers. Observe and pay attention. Number 18. Now that we talk about the online presence, let's talk about their physical presence. Are there regular events, conventions or exhibitions happening somewhere? Make sure that you will be there. Perhaps spend some money on a booth to showcase your product and company. Head out, give out business cards and connect with as many people as possible. The next section will be about collecting data and information from the market. To launch a successful product, make sure that you closely observe the market. What are common problems your customers talk about? What is missing from the eye of the customer? There are several free and paid tools out there that you should use in order to monitor the market and get first-hand insights. Number 19. Product Hunt. Product Hunt is a great place to post your idea or product and to get large amounts of feedback but also possible customers. Posting on Product Hunt often helps as well with driving large amounts of traffic to your website. Number 20. Google Trends. Google Trends allows you to search for specific search terms your potential users are using on the web. That way you can easily track and see whether there is real demand for your idea or product. Number 21. AngelList. AngelList shows you not only whether there are existing or similar products or services to use, but it also allows you to see whether they had to shut down. The next section will be about connecting with professionals from your own space. In many cases, you might be looking for a partner, co-founder or perhaps even a mentor. But before you go out and look around, you can do so also online. Number 22. LinkedIn. As an entrepreneur or inventor, you should be present on LinkedIn and have a clean and neat profile. The reasons here are simple. More than often, people will check your profile to validate whether you and your business are actually legit. And as mentioned earlier, LinkedIn offers great options to connect with the right people on the professional level. Number 23. Xing. Another professional network is Xing. In many ways similar to LinkedIn, it's especially popular in Europe and German-speaking countries. At what stage of your product creation are you at the moment? We would love to hear more from you. Head over to www.disrupting.asia and leave a feedback 
and a comment and join our Facebook group Disrupting Asia. So that's it for this week. Stay tuned for more interviews, tools and content from Disrupting Asia. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed to the podcast yet, you're on every major platform including iTunes, Stitcher and Spotify. Until then and keep it crushing.